Hey everyone, in the last two days, IFL Finance has hit two back-to-back -back lower circuit of 20% resulting in 36% fall in its share price. So I received a few queries on what to do with IFL Finance. Well, first of all, let me clarify that I never discussed IFL Finance in my previous videos. So this is the first time I would be sharing my viewpoint. Moreover, I wanted to share a few key learnings after what happened with IFL. So over the next few minutes, I'll help you understand what went wrong with IFL Finance and more importantly, what to do now. Again, this is not a buy-sell call. This video is only for education purpose where I'm just sharing my knowledge with you all. All right, let's get started. Two days ago, RBI released a circular where it banned IFL Finance from sanctioning gold loan. Now, why RBI banned IFL Finance gold loan business? So it seems there were some serious concern around gold loan disbursement, including deviation in checking gold loan purity and net weight of the gold, second breach in loan to value ratio, third disbursal and collection of loan amount in cash far in excess of the statutory limit, fourth non-adherence to the standard auction process and fifth lack of transparency in charges being levied to customer account. Let me read out the exact word of RBI in circular. An inspection of the company was carried out by the Reserve Bank with reference to its financial position on 31st March 23. Certain material supervisory concerns were observed in the gold loan portfolio of the company, including serious deviation in assaying and certifying purity and net weight of the gold at the time of sanction of loans and at the time of auction upon default, then breaches in loan to value ratio, significant disbursal and collection of loan amount in cash far in excess of the statutory limit, non-adherence to the standard auction process and lack of transparency in charges being levied to the customer account. These practices, apart from being regulatory violation, also significantly and adversely impact the interest of the customers. For the last few months, RBI has been engaging with the senior management and the statutory auditor of the company on these deficiencies. However, no meaningful corrective action has been evidenced so far. This has necessitated the imposition of business restriction with immediate effect in the overall interest of customers. Now the question is, how serious are the allegations? So I checked the response of Mr. Nilmal Jayan, chairman of IFL Group, and he said that there are no ethical issues at play and it is just operational issue. He further said that gold testing is a manual and subjective process and is done at branches. Audit team tends to be more conservative and this may differ from how branches look at the value of gold. We have taken corrective action to ensure that differences in assessment of gold value between branches and audit team is minimal. He also mentioned that we have approached RBI for a special audit to resolve issue. So the good news is that it does not look like a corporate governance issue or ethical issue. It's more of an operational issue. Having said this, the important question is what is the impact of this ban on IFL finance business? Because if stock has got two back-to-back -back lower circuit of 20%, then there must be a serious impact on the business. So if you look at IFL finance business, it's mainly into home loan business, gold loan, microfinance and loan against property. In terms of AUM breakup, in latest Q3 quarter, home loan contributed 33% in loan book, gold loan contributed 32%. Now that's nearly one third of its total business. And this business was also growing at a fast rate. It has grown 35% year on year. Then loan against property is 10%, microfinance is 16%. So one third of the business of IFL is banned by RBI for now. Now obviously that's huge. And that is the reason why there's a huge selling pressure on IFL Finance because market always value a business based on future earning growth. And if one third of the business is banned, then its earning growth would fall significantly. Please note that two third of its business would carry on as usual. Now, next question is how much can the share price fall further? So market has already discounted 36% valuation of IFL in just two days. I think the negative news is pretty much priced in. Having said this, everything would boil down to how long the RBI keeps this ban on IFL Finance. I was going through Jeffrey's note on latest development and it has downgraded IFL Finance to hold from buy and cut the target to 435 rupee from 765. It also mentioned that RBI restriction should dent company's earning due to rapid unwinding of profitable gold loan business. Timing of lifting of ban is uncertain, assuming ban stays for 9 months, cut FI2526 EPS by 26-27% and ROE by 460-480 to basis point. Currently, IFL Finance is trading below Rs. 400 and has got a PE of 8 and price to book of 1.47. So valuation wise, it's looking fair considering the impact of ban, which looks like it's already priced in. Now, if you are an existing shareholder, then my suggestion would be to hold it because the damage is already done. More importantly, as per management, it's not a corporate governance issue. 
it's more of an operational issue and mr nirmal jain has a very good reputation in the industry having said this everything would boils down to how long this ban last if rbi would lift the ban share price would again pick up but for now there is no clarity so i won't suggest jumping in to add the stock immediately at the moment let the dust settle down after this incident all i can say is please diversify your portfolio you might hear people saying that diversification is not good keep a concentrated portfolio but trust me in india you can't keep a concentrated portfolio one move from rbi or government can make or break a company we have seen in the past what happened with paytm delta corp and many more examples and i keep repeating my rule that personally i don't keep more than 10% of my money in any company in fact 10% is on the higher side when i have utmost confidence otherwise 5% is a good ceiling so that if ifl or delta corp type of situation happens it does not impact your portfolio badly risk management is very very crucial part of portfolio building so yeah what has happened with ifl finance and its shareholder is unfortunate but let's hope rbi lift the ban as early as possible like i said in my opinion the worst has already been priced in but still there is no need to rush let the dust settle down so this is it for this video if you find this useful do share it with your friends i'll see you next video till then take care